Hello, just a quick video update of my collection so far. I can go into detail if anybody wants to uh, drop me a message if they, they want any more videos, more angles or poses on any of these figures. Looking great in these details. No look up. Terminator. Robocop's only about 10% die cast though, which is a little bit disappointing, but still looks great. It's the first Avenger there. Still my favourite. And here's a figure of he who should not be named at the moment. There he is. It's not his real name, it doesn't come with a stand. That's awesome for the price. In the background there is uh, VTS, the Revenger, aka the Punisher, Frank Castle. It's also good. Like jigsaws to put together those two. I'll move you over to the right. Yeah, that's the Hulk. That's the Hulk and Banner set. Great set. Hulk was a bit of a random purchase really as I wasn't sure how his uh, joints were gonna look, but they actually look really good. There's a crow. Really good figure. You can get them pretty cheap now as well. I've seen them for around about 110. So if anyone sees them at that price, snap it up. Predator. That's my first hot toy figure I ever purchased. Great figure. There is better Predator figures out now, but I have to keep this one. Just the fact that it's my first one. G.I. Joe. Also great figures. Snake Eyes is really underrated. Tony Stark. I haven't got the lights on because they just cause a bit of glare on the camera. So I've left them off. Again, I got him really cheap as well. Great figure. Dark Knight. Really not liking the cape on this, so must get that Tony May cape. Evil Superman. It's awesome. Base is great. The sculpt is brilliant. It's great how they've got that sort of shadow. And his uh, chin. And here we go to the die-cast Iron Man series. War Machine. And the Mark 42. The articulation on those are absolutely amazing and well worth the money. They feel heavy and they're really bulky. They actually feel like they're worth the money you're paying for. Far from plastic Iron Man figures. I mean, that's how Iron, Iron Man figures should be made, in my opinion. It's awesome. The quality of the arc reactor. Sorry, I'm a bit shaky.
Now the last bits I'll treat me to, to some necker on four figures. That's the uh, Mark 7. Awesome figure. Don't find that anywhere now. The Midas. Yeah, it's okay. Use doll stands for those figures. And as you may notice, I quite like the to uh, display the hot toy boxes. Brilliant. Oh, this is my custom Bruce Lee. And this one six diecast Ducati. Smart. Small one fours. Robo. I resprayed him. He was pretty. He was matte grey when I got him, so I put some uh, metallic spray on him. That's the guard dog. Great detail for the price. And last Dutch. So that's the man cave. With more additions to come. Again, if anybody wants any closer videos or poses of any of these figures, just drop me a message. Glad to help. Thanks, Ian. Drop.